It's that time of the year again. The cream of the crop in the Young Auctioneers competition are being announced. And what a talented bunch of entries. Be sure to stay tuned. Today, not only will the 2021 Toyota SA National Young Auctioneer be crowned, but the regional winners and the people's choice will also be made known. Let's switch over to Lisa for the news first, but stay with us. AGT Foods Africa, from producer to the world. Welkom by vandagse nies, een drachtige boer aan koei is van dees week vir een rekordprys van 600.000 rand by Hovitz Farming se jaarlikse somerveiling van die hand gesit. Die koei genaamd Cecilia is uit Zambiese lijnen en is meer as 8 maanden drachtig. Sy is dier Hovitz Farming aan Arturo Couturi van Mutanda Farm in Zambie verkoop. Dit is een nieuwe rekordprys vir een drachtige boer aan koei in Suid-Afrika. En Souvenir Blanc Zuid-Afrika het van deze week die winners van die 2021 Souvenir Blanc Top 10 competitie aangekondig. 7 van hierdie weine is van die 2020 oesjaar. Van die jaarse Top 10 sluit in Diemersdal so Souvenir Blanc Reserve 2021, die Flagstone Free Run Reserve en Kleine Zaltse so Family Reserve Souvenir Blanc 2020. Ander landgoedere wat die Top 10 behaal het sluit in Le Grand Domain, Spier 21 en Steenberg. Plaas Media het na afloop van die aankondiging met Arie Bota, voorzitter van Souvenir Blanc SA, gesels. In die top, in die top 20 was daar, daar was een paar plaatsen wat twee wijnen in gehad het. En het wees vir ons dat die, 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 die proepaneel was baie constant, hulle het baie goed geproe. Um, en daar was een ongelooflike verscheidenheid van wijnen, wat voor ons belangrijk is. Dit, 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 dit wijst dat Sommio Blank in die diversiteit wat ons in Sommio Blank in Zuid-Afrika het, is baie, baie gezond. Um, ek denk dit is wat Sommio Blank van Zuid-Afrika zo so aanlokkelijk maakt voor de wereld daar buiten ook. Ons kan ongelooflijk baie verschillende stijlen maken. Van Daling, Van Durbanwil, Stellenbos, um, Elim, Elgen, allemaal met een unieke karakter en maak unieke wijnen. En ik denk dit is baie belangrijk. Ons is een colorful nation en ik denk dit is belangrijk dat ons hier die unieke Sommio Blanke van ons ook in die wereld kan wijnen. En so sê Arie Bota, voorzitter van Souvenir Blank Zuid-Afrika. Ons sal ook later oor hierdie geleentheid volledig op Plaas TV berig. Die wolaanbijser was tijdens van deze week sy wolveiling basis onveranderd en het ten 163 rand en 22 cent per kilogram gesluit. Die verkoopspercentage was 96,15%. Dit was die negende veiling van 2021-2022 wolseizoen. Die meerderheid van die aanbod het bestaan uit fijner wol met de eeuwerredige verdeling tussen lang en medium lengte wol. Die volhoubaar geproduceerde wolle het 36,2% van die Marino aanbod opgemaak. Hier is Heinrich Wichter van OVK oor van deze week sy veiling. Nou die gemiddelde skoonwolpryse vir die selectie binnen die verskillende mikron kategorie goeie lang kamwol en met 50 pus was soos volg. 18 mikron dal met 3.1% en sluit teen 240 rand en 84 cent per kilogram. Uh, 19 mikron verlaag met 2.8% en sluit teen 200 rand en 65 cent per kilogram. 20 mikron is 4.3% af en sluit op 159 rand en 84 cent per kilogram. 21 mikron verlangsaam met 3.2% en sluit op 157 rand en 9 cent per kilogram. En dan laatstens 22 mikron dal met 3.4% en sluit op 134 rand en 60 cent per kilogram. Nou, as ons kyk na uh, wat gebeur het oor die algemeen, sien ons ten spuite van die verswakking in die Australiese wolmark en die versterking van die rand teen oor die vernaamste geld eenhede, het die Zuid-Afrikaanse wolmark steeds een relatief goeie vertoning gelever en syvaarts verhandel. 
En so is die Heinrich Victor van OVK en dit is dan ook vandagse nieuws. The 2021 Toyota SA National Young Auctioneer Competition has come to an end, and all the entrants are very anxious to find out who will walk away with the title. However, before we get into that, here to talk to us about their involvement is Soya Jita, Senior Manager of Corporate Sales at Toyota SA. So, why does Toyota want to be in agriculture? So, I mean, for us as Toyota South Africa, agriculture is really part of our history. So for those of you guys who don't know, um, the first manufacturing car that we did in Toyota South Africa was a Toyota Stout, which was a Bucky. So, I mean, those initial sales and those initial years that we sold that vehicle really built this, the relationship we have with the agricultural sector because majority of the sales really went through uh, with the farmers. So even today, I mean, as we sit here today, uh, the highest selling vehicle in Toyota South Africa is still the Toyota Hilux over 40 years of market leadership. So for us, and a big contributor for that is the agricultural sector. So I've been blessed enough to have worked with uh, a lot of the de Toyota dealerships in the Limpopo and Bumalanga areas, uh, the Platalans as, as, they, as they're known as. Um, and we've seen, I mean, f me working with a lot of the fleets in Toyota South Africa, the people who promote Toyota the most are the farmers. So on our side, we very happy to, 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 to still support the farming industry and the ag agricultural industry. And of course, on our side, uh, continue to try and grow the industry as we as Toyota South Africa grow. So what was your impression of this year's competition participants? Yeah, no, quite interesting. I think, uh, I think it was quite impressive. Uh, I think we know these days with the lockdown, we have a lot of uh, video conferences uh, and a lot of events that are done through video conference. Uh, but I think this event is probably uh, one of the best and well-managed uh, events uh, through video conference that I've actually seen uh, since uh, uh, lockdown. Uh, a lot of the guys still maintained the passion that they have uh, for, 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 for auctioneering. And it was quite nice to see the different types of, of, of ways these guys present and the different personalities that they bring through. Uh, so I was extremely impressed uh, from my side. What do you hope to achieve through sponsoring the competition? So for us, I mean, as, as mentioned before, with the history of agriculture and agriculture really being the lifeblood of the South African economy, uh, we really, as Toyota South Africa, want to be part of uh, growing the industry, uh, especially uh, an a industry like auctioneering, where I don't think a lot of people know it as a, know it as a career opportunity. Uh, and I think what you guys are doing with this competition is really helping uh, develop that uh, exposure of, of auctioneering to a lot of the young uh, young uh, millennials or like young people in South Africa. So we definitely on our side want to be part of that and help uh, support that growth. Thank you, Soya. There we have it. That was Soya Jita from Toyota SA. Stay tuned. We are going to talk to two of the competition judges for this year. Goedemorgen, kijkers. Die week van die tijdsmarkt verslag is basis een precieze herhaling van verleden week zijn met dezelfde prijzen wat gestijgd en gedaald is. BSA 2 karpersprijzen in week 40 van die jaar het met 2,4% gestijgd, terwijl die C2 prijs met 0,8% op is en die speenkalfprijs wat onveranderd gebleven het. Wat lamkarkas aan betreft het die A2 prijs met 4,7% gedaald, terwijl die C2 prijs met 7% gedaald het. Hier die daling is redelijk normaal voor oktober met die prijzen wat gewoon naar in november weer begint stijg naar kaarsfeest toe. Die speenlamprijs het met 2% toegeneem en die varkvleesprijs het onveranderd geblei week op week. Die wolveiling van die afgelopen week het 0.1% zwakker gesluit as die vorige week. In dollar terme het die prijs echter bykie gestijg met die rand wat ongeveer 1.6% zwakker was tussen die twee veilings. Geelmilieprijs het met 3.7% gedaal week op week, terwijl die koringprijs 0.5% gestijg het. Sojaboon is 3.2% goedkoper met die sonneboonprijs wat basis is onveranderd gebleven het vir die naaste maand. Wisselkoerse het die rand evens versterkt in die vernaamste wisselkoerse, 0.9% sterker ten oor die dollar en 0.4% sterker ten oor die euro.
Farming is known for the risks involved and at AgriSeker we understand farmers' needs and risks. AgriSeker is a specialist underwriting manager in the crop insurance market whose vision and goal is to provide an agricultural risk management service to our clients in order to play an important role in maintaining food security. The AgriSeker family is there for farmers so they can do their best to feed the country. Ask your insurance broker or find us online at www.agriseker.co.za. We now talk to Alan Sinclair, the Managing Director of Fleissentral Bloemfontein, about his involvement as a judge in this year's Theater Essay National Auctioneering Competition. Alan, compared to last year's competition, what was your general impression of the entries this year? Compared to last year, there's a bit of a step up. The entrants have really prepared. A couple of them stepped up and brought, brought with a new dynamics with as well as the auctioneering in preparing for themselves and the homework they've done beforehand. So I think there's a big gap between the top entrants and the bottom entrants this year, where last year we were a lot closer. What would you want to see from next year's entrance, whether the competition is online again or hopefully in person at agricultural shows? I think I'd like to see the entrance take the competition very seriously. Uh, it's just not a thing that you enter and think, hey, yeah, we're going to do well and just get a friend to quickly take a video of you auctioneering something. They must take it very seriously and know there's a step up to go to a new job or there's an advantage that comes along your way with winning this competition. What would you say is the component that entrants most struggle with, with online entries? I think it's a little bit of straight stage fright and camera fright. They're not used to just talking to a camera. Uh, I think they struggle that with that. And then the other part as well, once you've got a live audience, you can interact with them. At this stage, you've only got a camera that you're working with, so you've got no feedback. And I think that's what they're struggling with at the moment. Thanks, Alan. That was Alan Sinclair, Managing Director of Fly Central Bloemfontein and a judge in this year's auctioneering competition. Burback, shaping the future of animal health. Up next, we talk to Api Maritz, an auctioneer at BKB, about his role as a judge in the competition this year. Api, this is your first year as a judge in the competition. What was your general impression of the caliber young auctioneers that entered this year? Uh, good afternoon, uh, Deirdre. Yes, uh, if, uh, thank you for the opportunity to to took part in this whole uh, process. It was I enjoyed it very much, um, and I think as um, we as experienced people can also learn something from this, uh, in a sense, um, uh, not what to do and what and uh, not what to do. But uh, yeah, um, out of the candidates, I think they were around about eight or ten. I can't, I can't remember the, the amount. But uh, um, I think um, three or four of them, at least three, can go further and can, with experience, uh, make a career out of it. Um, some of them, yeah, I think you're going to cover it with the next question. But yeah, I think there's at least three candidates that's that's got the talent to to make a career out of it. A lot of people think it might be easy to just record an entry video and send it in. But there are a lot of things to consider when you do this. What are the do's and don'ts when you want to do something like this? Okay. Um, 
I don't want to be critical because I'm looking at, I know that most of the people are not experienced, but I must say one thing that uh, was a little bit disappointed to me was the, the appearance. You know, um, if you want to present yourself to, to an audience or to, um, to people, you have to present yourself. And at least you're gonna you're gonna when you record, you're going to dress properly. Um, you're going to prepare yourself, and most a lot of them didn't do that. They they were not presentable to to the audience or to an audience. That's what I think. And the other thing is, um, a lot of people think that it's only about the talking. It's definitely not only about the talking. Um, and and they think that um, if you can talk fast, like an auctioneer, you can be an auctioneer. That is not the case. Um, um, I, I've learned that you get auctioneers that's very good and very effective without, you know, without the fast talking. It's more to me about the, the knowledge that you have, the integrity that you have, and to present yourself to an audience and to get in sync with an audience to, you know, um, that's more like the, if you, if you can, if you can talk uh, properly and effectively and with rhythm and with, that's a bonus. Um, obviously, you, if you don't sit there and you stutter and it's not gonna do the thing for you. But it's, I think it's more important to be, to present yourself well that um, we spoke about that uh, that uh, candidate that came second that we spoke about. He presented himself very, very well. And uh, he was a good example of somebody that he stand there, he talk with authority, he know what he's talking about, and he present and, and the audience, um, if you do that, they take you seriously. Um, not just come and stand there and just start and just talk, 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 talk. That's not selling, if you can understand what I mean. You were also part of an informal workshop and junior auctioneering competition at Boerland in September. What are your hopes for the formal junior competition next year? Um, there's definitely room for it. Um, I think, obviously, auctioneering is a career. So for young people, to start at a, at a young age to, and prepare yourself for that for a career in auctioneering is good. So you can, I think, what will happen is a lot of a lot of the learners will come and just do it for the fun. So, but that's fine. And then out of ten or twenty of them, a few will maybe make it, or we can see talent in them. And if you once you've uh, discovered the talent, it's good to you know to build on that and to and to um, see you mean you know you can you can teach the people or take them to another another level and encourage them. That's the word I'm looking for to to uh, better themselves and maybe become an auctioneer one day. So yeah, I think there's room for it. Um, um, as I said, a, a lot of them will just be paid just for the fun, but that's okay. And maybe later on in life or later on in this uh, school career, you'll decide to, listen, I, I think I can do this. But it's all about uh, confidence. Yeah. A, it, plays, it plays a big, big role in, in becoming an auctioneer. So you have to have confidence. If you don't have confidence and can't present yourself, you're not going to make it. Definitely not. But there is, I think, I think uh, the junior competition is a good plot platform to start the whole thing and to build it, you know, to get more people involved. There you have it, folks. That was Oppi Maritz of BKB and a judge in the Teota SA National Young Auctioneer Competition. Don't go away just yet. We will now find out who is the winner of this year's competition. The great thing of Tai Tai is that it ons by is van ons gemaak is. Of ons murg in ons pijp het. Of ons sterk genoeg is. Of ons genoeg omgee. Dat van altijd taai taaie wees. Maar die groot ding van taai taaie is dat het ons net taaier maak. Ons stel bekend die selfs nog taaier Hilux reeks en die splinter nieuwe Hilux legend.
Some great insights from our judges. The big moment has arrived and I will now hand over to Soya Jita from Toyota SA to announce the winners of the 2021 Toyota SA National Young Auctioneering Competition. I am very excited to announce all the winners for this year's competition. There are three categories in which we will announce winners. Uh, a People's Choice winner, a regional winner, and then of course the overall winner of the competition. So with, without further ado, the People's Choice winner is Tisokuhle Hatebe from KwaZulu Natal. He wins the Blast Media Hamper consisting of a year subscription to one of the magazine titles, a cap and a Blast Media shirt. The regional winners are from Eastern Cape and KwaZulu Natal, Fisokuhle Hatebe. From the northern region, Henry Bailefeld. From the Free State and Gauteng region, Vincent Pike. From the Northern Cape and Western Cape, Chris Huesen. Congratulations to the regional winners. You each win an exciting Toyota hamper worth 2,500 Rand, consisting of a Hilux Braiset, a wireless charger, a Land Cruiser travel bag, and a bush hat. Now for the big announcement. It is well worth mentioning that the top five positions were very close together and second and first place really only differed by five points. In fifth place, Vincent Pike from Free State. In fourth place, Francois Dutoy from Northwest. In third place, Chris Horson from the Northern Cape. In second place, Fisokuche Hatebe from Guazulu Natal. Our new Toyota Young Auctioneer of the Year Award goes to Henry Bailefeld from Limpopo. Congratulations, Henry. Congratulations to all the winners and a big hand to our new Young Auctioneer of the Year, Henry Bailefeld. Henry will join the previous two winners, JP Mare and Henny Huesen, in Calgary next year at the Calgary Stampede to take part in the International Auctioneering Competition. More information on the 2022 competition will be made available soon, so make sure you keep an eye out on our platforms.